Hello everybody, this is Sebastian Furtado and welcome. Today I'm with you from Rio de Janeiro in Brazil. <laughs> uh, apparently it was supposed to be a sunny day, but it's not. It's pretty cloudy and it rained not long ago. <laughs> but it's fine, you know, like, it's fine. I'm not a sun lover. I know, I know it's shocking, but it, it <laughs> I do love the sun, but I don't. You know, like, oh my god, I love, love, I need the sun. I'm just like, I'm okay. I, I love days like this, too. So, and for days like this, I ended up choosing the perfume that I'm going to talk about today, which is Poivre Samarcand from Hermès. Um, I have worn a little bit, actually, um, already, while, while on this trip. Um, I wore it... Actually, my first day in Brazil, I s when I got off the plane, you know, at the airport, I went to the bathroom and I sprayed some, and uh, it was pretty full when I filmed the videos, uh, the last video of the perfumes I, w I had chosen to take with me in this trip, and I've used quite a bit already, actually, and... Um, this will be a full bottle. I will end up getting a full bottle of this for sure. So, and it's just, you know, I was, I, I was in between three perfumes for today. This, Irizu Kyoye, also in the same kind of bottle, and Uden Santel from Cartier. But sniffing all three, I just like, this one was the one, because it just, it just felt right. So let me go for it. Goodness, this is oh. oh, it's the best black pepper perfume I've ever smelled. Like it's, it's a blast of black pepper. You know when you when you brought when you buy fresh black pepper, still in the in the peppercorn, I think it's called. Um, and the whole grains and then you, you, they're in a bag and then you just open the bag and then you get that smell of beautiful black pepper and then you, you take one and then you you bite into it and then the f beautiful burst of freshness that comes right away and then that delicious you know I don't know how to describe the flavor of black pepper but it's just delicious <sighs> it's 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 perfect it's like very photorealistic black pepper and then um, some woods start coming through but the black pepper is still here very very vividly the, I actually uh, associate this image the smell of, the per of this perfume to an image from my childhood um, which was in my hometown there was this shop um, spice shop and the guy would sell like sh spices um, ground he would grind coffee there like or, or sell the, the roasted beans they would roast in the back it was that kind of shop you know spices and coffee and other miscellaneous things and there was a counter very old counter because I, I was a kid and the, and the and the owner of the shop was already in his late 70s um, he's, he's, he's long gone now and I remember being in the pretty much height of the counter and which was today my you know my waist hi um, height and being a kid and since I was so close to the counter, I could smell the, the this the smell of the wood that was on the counter, and the the scent right now, which is the mix of woods and pepper, it's very reminiscent of that image of the memory of being in that shop and smelling that counter, where it was very old wood, and so many things have gone through it have gone you know have been on that counter 
so that counter absorbed the smell of many spices black pepper for sure and coffee and other thing but i don't detect any coffee here i got um hermes's website to see what they say and they don't actually say a lot about this the fiery pepper of Bavre Samarcand is softened with a wood sweetness olfactory emotion spicy dry and it is indeed spicy and dry oh my goodness main raw materials green pepper chili pepper oak um, do I get chili pepper? I don't get chili pepper just I get black pepper actually I don't get green pepper or chili to me maybe the combination of these two notes um, give a feeling of black pepper I don't know but um, for Grantica says that it's wood fresh spicy warm spicy aromatic it's I don't get warm spicy uh, do I get warm spicy no no earthy mossy no i don't get mossy mm -mm. Uh, it says also patchouli and green i could i could see a dark green here but dry you know it's not to me it's not mossy because moss has this kind of humidity um thing combined to it uh which i don't get in this perfume so pepper paprika oak Caraway, Virginia cedar, cedar, oak moss, patchouli green notes. To me, to my perspective, to, in my experience, it's black pepper and wood. In this case, being oak, um, it's that's pretty much it for me. I and I'm a kid again <laughs> when I smell this perfume at this guy's shop. It's it's incredible. It's it's really really incredible the the image the memory connection that i have with this and this the, you know the emotion that this perfume evokes in me and this trip i will be going to my hometown this saturday we're going we're flying to my state and i will eventually reach my hometown and i will definitely bring this to air in my hometown and i will try to go back to the shop to see how it will be and how this perfume actually smells like the whole the counter that is if the shop is still there and if the counter is still there i'm hoping that's the case but we'll see well thank you so much for joining me thank you so much for your time your attention i hope you have a wonderful morning afternoon day evening night wherever you are in the world and the world doesn't need more beauty lovers. Bye.